the culture is embracing the curve much more and saying, why not? And so I think that the new class this year, the new freshmen and also the new junior class is, um, I think they want some of the sugar. I think they want to be in on the fun and the excitement and the change. Well, this is really exciting project uh, to work on with the students to really work with uh, unusual sizes or sizes that, that should be usual. We have 80% of uh, America's population and also Britain's population being a size 14 is the standard size and yet we don't address that in fashion schools. So with the assistance of Emmy we're now starting to address slightly larger sizes and um, being able to work on these incredible wolf dress forms. So walking into 2015, 2016 for the second year is an incredible honor to say to the students, you are changing the global fashion conversation. Uh, in all design schools, everyone's asking this year, how can we get into that white space? So to be the leader in that is really, really awesome. And we, I, we had no idea, we just said, that's a great idea, let's go for it, you know? What we didn't know what was going to happen was once the look was finished and uh, sort of put out there in photographic form was that it was picked up worldwide. It's just incredible the um, excitement and enthusiasm just around the entire nation or around the entire country for creating clothing in, in a design school that are for real women and not just for the um, sort of uh, couture looking models. Even just seeing on my Twitter feed, like people speaking about my school and my program, I'm like, wow, this is really something. Like people are actually talking about this and it's taking off. Steven Matasumo, uh, he, is a, he is a military veteran and Steven stepped up and donated incredible knit fabrications that are sustainable in nature and I mean, made out of uh, plastic water bottles. That's great. So the, it's so generous and such an amazing donation. Um, it's really an incredible um, plume in our cap that, that we have this. And hopefully in the years to come, we'll have donations from other um, fabric mills and so that we can have that opportunity to show the best fashion. It's very exciting. I mean, there was just, I was saying before, like a week when I was on Twitter and it was like MTV was tweeting about my school and Women's Wear Daily and all these like fashion bloggers speaking about the Emmy project and how we're just like adhering to plus size models and stuff. And I was like, that's, that's really cool. Cause I, I feel like our school, because of that, like we don't have the same accessibility and people are just like looking to us now because we're the next generation and we're like, doing this before it's like too late I guess and so I'm very excited very excited for my school very excited to see where this goes I feel like it's still young and it's just it's still growing and it we're just gonna get to a place where it's gonna be like oh yeah Syracuse did that Syracuse went there